welcome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a countdown just before I start and I get nervous and I don't know what to do with my hands. and I freak out a little bit. But anyway, welcome to Corey Wire Art. I'm Corey. And this is lesson two in my lesson of how to draw the human face tutorial. So um, what I've done, I've taken the liberties. I've, I've done essentially what I was showing you in lesson one um, here. I'll just bust out of there. Uh, you know, using the techniques I showed you, I've just mapped up this really quick sort of sketch of, of a lady's face. Uh, and as you can see, the construction lines and stuff are still there. It, it's the same technique I showed you earlier. I've just added a little bit of detail with some hair, you know, bits and pieces. Um, and th this is like like the second phase, if you will, of, of, of where to go. And what it is is shading. It's get, getting a little bit of that depth in there, a little bit of contouring, and, and working out the topography of the face, you know, um, relative to the light. As you can see from my face right now, I've got a light source over here. And, you know, one side of my face is brighter and one side's in shadow. You can see it really clearly right there. And, you know, that's really easy to look at and go, oh, of course, the shadows and stuff like that. But when you start trying to figure it out from your imagination, um, so let's say you're not using reference. Like right now, I'm not using reference. I just sketched this up and that's, uh, you know, I'm not basing it on a photograph or anything like that. You need to know where early shadows are going to land. And a lot of it's practice. But uh, again, these basic fundamentals will automatically tell you where things are supposed to go. So I'm going to say like for argument's sake, the light source is similar to, to me in this video and it's over here on the right, right? So let's just say that's a light source over there. Uh, actually that's <laughs> my right, your left. <laughs> I went to school, I promise. Um, so let's just say there's like light rays coming down here and you can see, you know, generally how they're going to hit. You're going to get a brighter spot around here and your shadows are going to be concentrated mostly sort of around this area here. So um, let's just start with uh, like a mid-tone gray. I'll just grab an airbrush, pretty big airbrush, soft. Um, and we're just going to lay down like a basic mid-tone uh, for, for the skin tone, right? You know, and again, Every, every medium you work with is going to have different techniques for this, but the fundamental ideas remain the same, right? So let's just color in a basic skin tone. It might be a little bit dark, um, depending on, on, you know, the lighting and stuff like that. We haven't established the lighting of the scene yet. And that's something else you want to consider before you start. Is it going to be the subject? Is the subject going to be in a dark room or is it going to be a well-lit environment? That's going to affect the tones and shadows and stuff as well. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know what? That to me that feels a little dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna go over that again, light it up. Right there. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, this is not too bad. Boom, boom. And again, I'm not being careful or anything like that, just so we can get this done quickly. But normally I'd spend a little bit more time, you know, and the beauty of working on different layers, which you won't, again, you won't always be able to do if you're, you know, using paper and, you know, or canvas or whatever. But like, you know, you can go back through and you can trim all this stuff out, which is always cool with it, without affecting the rest of the sketch. One of the benefits of digital. So anyway, okay, we've got a mid range. And so here's a starting point, um, you know, skin tone, if you know it's it's never white or black or or i think it's 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 generally just something in between and so starting with this we can look at it and we can go okay we're in the middle we've either got to move up into the highlights or we've got to move down into the shadows so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with a little bit of shading so let's go let's find a darker tone about there and i'll just shrink down this brush a little bit yank that over here like so all right, I might just reduce the opacity a little bit as well. Okay, so because our light source is here, obviously the shadows are going to be on the opposite side. So let's start with down this cheekbone. We'll just start bringing this down into the into the shadow tones. Now, when you think about it, where's it going to be the darkest? It's probably going to be darkest under the chin here. Like if you look at me right here, under here, there's, it's a lot darker, right? So let's really bring this in here and again you know blending and stuff will come later but let's just say for argument's sake there and you know i mean looking at this there's, there's probably also a little smidgen of shadow under this side as well um big shadow catcher is always in this 
you know, groove here just under the eyebrow, you know, because it pretty your brow protrudes, so it's gonna uh, the overhang is gonna create a shadow. So let's just start roughing that in. And see, already we're we're getting depth. We're getting like a, a feel of, you know, contouring um, down the side of. You can see down here, down the the um, this side of my nose. Uh, you know, let's so let's bring the shading down here. And less is more. You can always darken it later. So don't go too crazy. But you know, um, and under the nose, obviously, around here, this little cavity here, just above the lip. The top lip's always going to catch a little bit of shadow as well. So let's let's just give that some an impression of shadow right there, and under this lip as well. Because again, anywhere there's an overhang, you're going to get like you know. A little bit of darkness through there so let's just fill that in and even on this side you know around this side of the eye you know let's just bring that in just to give the nose a little bit of a protrusion and i mean obviously the darker you make this in contrast to the bridge of the nose the more pr uh, pronounced the nose is going to be so if it's kind of like a shallow indentation through here you know you'd, you'd make it a much lighter contrast if you know it's it's a darker protrusion, uh, like you know a, a bigger protrusion here, you would you would make the contrast higher to make it really step out. Uh, let's just do a little bit of general shading around the entire this side of the face. This eye is going to be a little bit darker. Cheekbone, bring it down here. You know this nose is going to cast a bit of a shadow out this way across the face as well, so it sort of joins it in with the cheekbone through there and underneath the you know here's going to be probably pretty dark as well let's sort of blend that out a little bit see see it's not hard this is all pretty simple stuff like i haven't done anything complicated i've taken a, a, a pre-drawn sketch which you do in step one and i've just added a little bit of contouring to it and suddenly things are popping out you know simple so now let's do our highlights. Now we're not going to go for white because again, white doesn't appear in nature, you know, um, very, very rarely anyway. And it's usually in the form of specular highlights, like little glints and things like that you might render as white, but everything else, as far as contouring stuff goes, you're going to stick with like, you know, like, a, a, like a, a light color, but never, never quite crossing the boundary into say pure white. Um, so let's bring that down to like a really light gray. And, you know, like, you know, the brow line here is going to be brighter. You're going to catch a bit of this light on this cheekbone. So let's brighten that up. And along the jaw here. And down the neck, because it's going to catch the rays down there. Now, the side of the nose is going to get quite a lot. You can see on my, side, on, on my video here, this side of my nose is blown out pretty heavily with the light. So let's lighten that up. there you know a little bit of a hint there around the eye and i mean you know it's not perfect but we're, we're getting somewhere this is a good place to start you know um might just darken this down here a little bit more go a little bit extra shadow darker now if i was doing this with with oil paints or whatever i would start out with my three tones on a palette to begin with you know three or four depending on how much blending you want to do um but you'll have like your, your flesh tone and you like just as a mid-range flesh tone and then you'll have your highlight tone and your shadow tone which is generally a cooler sort of variant on that color as well and you'll have that all mapped out and you'll just do it like a paint by numbers you know where the areas are that you're going to shade and you'll just rough them in and do like an underpainting where you'd sort of go okay shadow colors blotched in here lighter colors here mid tones all the way through there and and then you'll blend them together and all of a sudden the face is painted it's already done you don't have to sit there and you know each brush stroke has to be the right color and stuff like that because you've already done it and i mean then you just you work it and work it until it looks natural and smooth and you know and all that but um i mean essentially this is pretty much done you know and the same thing will apply with the hair so the hair is probably going to be a little bit darker but let's bring that down to like a charcoal sort of thing and uh opacity up just rough in the general tonality of it. And so you always want to leave room for highlights and lowlights. So just go there. We'll get some dark in here, maybe 
want to use a pencil for this, but you know, you can, you can rough in those sort of detail lines, little shaded areas that add texture and depth to the hair, you know, like through here. You know, but I mean, essentially that's it, you know, that that's, that's the building blocks of how to, how to shade the face for depth of field and stuff like that. So anyway, that's about enough for me. Um, you know, we'll come back for lesson three and we'll show you how to map in some of that detail. Oh, probably should color in her ears. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and we'll go from there. Cool. Thanks for watching. Give it a try with whatever your preferred medium is. Just, you know, just use these as general guidelines. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that you'll be bringing your images up to a higher standard in no time. So uh, keep drawing and we'll check you out for lesson three.